boys and girls. Would you hold on a moment? I'm writing a list. I'm almost finished. There, that's it. This is my list of all the things I'm going to buy and all the things I'm going to do when I finally get out of the house. It's a pretty long list. Have you ever written a list? Maybe a birthday list or a Christmas list? I'm always writing lists. But you know, today in the middle of my list, I was reading from Psalm 23, and I thought maybe I'd share that with you. In Psalm 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I shall not want. Did you hear that? Everything in my list is about the things that I want. But the Bible here tells us that the Lord is our shepherd and we will have everything we need from him. So I got to thinking about the shepherds out in the fields, the ones we learn about in Sunday school, and how they tend their sheep. They're the ones that take the sheep to the pasture so they have food to eat. They take them to water so they have something to drink when they're thirsty. They protect them from wild animals. And if they get stuck in some some tight place or fall down, they use that shepherd crook and they pull them out. The sheep really, really need the shepherd and the shepherd loves his sheep. So that makes sense that we would call God our shepherd because God takes care of us and he loves us. So I want to keep reading here. It says, he leads me beside quiet waters. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So I understand that for now, maybe God just wants me to stay put and not think about what I want but maybe focus on what I already have because he has taken care of me. He's given me my house to keep me safe and warm. I have food in my refrigerator and lots of ice cream in my freezer. I get calls and cards and emails from friends and family with encouragement. So I, I have so many people in my life Everything I need for now, God has already given me, and it's right here. But I'll be honest, I was pretty restless and weary after being inside for so many days. So I started thinking ahead and making this list. And I bet you're a little restless and weary these days. You're not used to being home during the week when you're supposed to be in school. I bet you miss school. I bet you miss your friends and play dates. And you miss going and playing sports or going to piano lessons. You miss birthday parties. I bet some of you have been invited to a birthday party and it turned out you couldn't go. I had tickets to a concert. I couldn't go. But for now, have to focus on what God has given me and he's taking care of me and it's right here. Most important, we have family that loves us and a God that loves us and that's the best thing of all. Would you fold your hands and pray with me? Dear God, thank you for these children and though I'm not with them, I believe that we are connected through our hearts. Father, we ask that you lay your healing hand on each person out there who is sick. And Father, when we grow restless and weary, would you remind us that you have already given us everything we need? In 
energy this morning. Amen. Well, bye, boys and girls. I'll see you later.